good night, everybody. Uh, now I want to talk about the online monitor of our guest conversation for the using guest. This was Miss the guest bar. I am uh, I'm Mr. Xiong from Wuhan Kubi. Firstly, I would like to talk about what is the reducing gas. The generally, uh, this kind of gas combines of six, ga six gases, CO, CO2, CH4, CHM. CHM sometimes means uh, C, C2+, plus. something else uh, is gas, uh, not car, but not methanol, so it's a CHM. And also sometimes we have H2 and oxygen. For this kind of gas, generally it comes from the gasification, for coal gasification, for biomass gasification. For example, in China, uh, coal gasification is very, very common for fertilizer, for the farmer, fertilizer of the farmer. So there's a fertilizer that comes from, uh, from the coal, not, not uh, like other countries, from natural gas. In China, generally, it's from coal. After gas, uh, coal gasification, the gas to do the uh, signal gas and turn then to the uh, fertilizer. So, so it's very important to in China for coal gasification research to that. Uh, in China, for fertilizer industry, there are more than about uh, uh, 7,000 uh, gasified units in, in China. Generally, the ID, the size, is about 3 meters to 3.6 meters. So, so this one is very popular now in China, everywhere. So and another one is the gas bio, biomass gasification. So now this uh, can uh, this is a new energy for biomass. The the, uh, the gas for reduced reduce gas is from the gasification of the coal and the biomass. Another one uh, reduced gas is from the pyrolysis. This means coking for uh, coal coking, coal coking. Coal China is the main uh, manufacturer of the coke. Now it's the biggest one in the world. I think it takes about six, uh, I think maybe half of the, the production in the world. So coking, especially in the coal rich uh, states, coal rich uh, province, there are many co co coking uh, plants in China. Uh, for, for coking, I guess uh, composition is uh, Monitor is very, is very important also. Formerly, the off gas of the coking furnace was combusted at the flame, just directly to the to the air. So it's a waste of energy. Now it's forbidden now. So you, the 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 gas. Uh, oh sorry. The gas should be uh, re recyclable at for power generation. For power gen, for all for fertilizer and so on. So now it's not for me now. So everyone needs a gas, uh, gas monitor for for the next state uh, man, man, manufacture and so on. And then and the third one is the biochar, just like the charcoal. Charcoal. I visit the largest charcoal company in Brazil because Brazil is very rich in the iron steel, but very less in coal. But the sun, is, the sunshine is very well. The sun is very well in Brazil. So now the plants very, very high. So use the plants with the biomass for charcoal. So, so charcoal is also a, a pyrolysis. It's from the biomass. Here is from the coal. They use the coke, like name the coke or charcoal for iron steel for the next day. And another, another one. Uh, uh, reducing gas is from the iron steel process, such as the uh, uh, blast furnace, the converter, and other iron steel process. The, the coal is also CO, CO2, CH4, H2O2, and so on. There. The first one, uh, the reduced gas, is the gas generate. <coughs> is a gas generate. This, uh, this kind of the machine were used for heat treating. For furnace heat treating. Why we should to monitor this kind of gas? Firstly, it is used for production process control. What kind of gas? For example, now for the gas fire, we just the combustion of the gas, but we don't know the quality of the gas. Can we improve the efficiency of the gas fire? 
So the gas and nicest. Gas composition is very important. The second one is the process safety. In China, for example, in for the coal uh, gasification, oxygen level is very important because for the uh, for the tar remove, they they use the ESP. With the ESP, oxygen level is very important. If the oxygen is very high, they there is a, a problem of the expulsion. So oxygen level is very important also. Uh, another example for the safety is that, for example, for the blast furnace, oxygen is very important. Oxygen, when the oxygen increasing, it means that the leakage of the water. Then this is a problem for the, for the, uh, the blast furnace. So the process, process safety monitor is very important also. The third one reason for monitor of the gas composition for the reduced gas is for combustion and, and the treat of uh, optimization. For example, for the combustion, we should add, 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 add adjust the A, the air, and the fuel rate. For example, the combustion the engine, how to control the air, air flow and to the fuel flow. And I think it depends on the, the demand. Uh, sorry. So it's very important for the air fuel rate control for, for combustion. So how to monitor the gas composition in the uh, reducing gas, such as gas fire, is very, is very important. Uh, generally, <laughs> in the natural analysis, the, they means also gas analysis. This is a very traditional way to analyze the gas composition. This means the equipment is not an impact, it's not an analyzer, it's an equipment. So I'll talk about that is a good job for stronger muscle. Do you know why? Because in the laboratory, I, I see some, uh, some guy in China do this kind of business because I go to sell uh, uh, this kind of machine to them. The taxi driver, sorry. <laughs> So, so it's, a, it's a hard job. So generally, you should uh, up and down for several hundred times for, for, for one, one sample. So it's, it's, a, uh, it's, a, it's a hard job and also time consuming. This is the offset analyzer. Offset analyzer is, uh, is equipment, it's cheap, but time consuming. And a long uh, and uh, and a hard job, and also the, you need some chemical to, to absorption of the CO and the CO2. As a, as a surely for CH4 and H2 and H2, you should combustion after combustion, and then do the absorption of the CO and the CO2 and oxygen and so on. So it's very very complicated. In China, there are many people do this kind of job because every day. Every day, one hour, one, one sample. You should analyze that. So three people one day to do this kind of job. If we have no online monitor system or digital gas analyzer, then you have to do everybody. So many people do this kind of job. Yes? What's the TCD method? What does that stand for? Oh, yeah, TCD means the thermal conductive deductor. Thermal conductive. Thermal conductive, uh, yeah, TCD. IR is infrared. So this is the IR detector. This means uh, different gas have a different kind of wavelength for absorption. This is the, in fact, this is the reason for the greenhouse. <coughs> greenhouse the same the same meaning and everything. So uh, the second uh, way uh, to monitor the gas is use the infrared and the TCD separately. Generally now, now in the world, there are some companies who do this kind of business, such as ABB and Siemens, they do this, do this kind of the analyzer. This is the this kind of uh, detector, <coughs> For such as ABB, Siemens, and Fuji, and Mike and so on, provide this kind of gas analyzer. But generally, they are used for analyzer of the CO and the CO2, but no CH4. They are to the reason in the next chart. Because, uh, uh, because they just can analyze the CO and the CO2 and oxygen. So in fact, for, for gas fire or for catalysis, CH4 
is very important. It's very important. So the, 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 this, uh, uh, this ability that uh, the, the, they can only analyze several kind of gas, not a total solution. So they have two, uh, two problems. One is to how much the CH4 among the HC have a different kind of the hydrocarbon. You how to get the uh, uh, CH4. And now another problem is how to analyze the H2 with one is HC and CO2. Yes, you can do the, uh, you can manufacture the H2. But if the variable of the carbon, uh, hydrocarbon and CO2, maybe they trouble for, the, uh, for this kind of detector. The third one is, uh, is the GC. This is very, uh, very popular now in the laboratory. So they use the GC. GC uh, generally uh, used for laboratory, sometimes used for online. For online, is a, is a, uh, the time interview is about uh, uh, one, one minute to several, several, several or, or ten minutes, or sometimes one hour, half hour, and so on. Depends on the different kind of technology used. This is a variant, portable uh, GC. Generally, it costs about, I think, maybe $40,000 for, the, for, the, for this kind of machine. The first one is the MS, mass spectrography. This kind of gas analyzer is okay. They can analyze different kind of gas, but very expensive. I think we have about $100,000. So for uh, maybe a 10 piece of our gas file, so maybe sometimes we cannot use this kind of technology for our gas file. So which one is the best? For offset, yes, very cheap, but they cannot be online, and it's time consuming, and also you need some chemical. So you, you, you need the experienced people. For the IR and the TCD, they can be used online, but sometimes some problem for analyze of the CH4, maintenance, and some problem for the H2. For GC, yes, it can be online, and also it's not so expensive. Not only so expensive, but also is some complicated. You should need some uh, carrier gas, such as the nitrogen, the high quality, high purity nitrogen for carrier gas. For MS, yes, it's very good, but very expensive. So we need a, a very good solution for this kind of online monitor system for our gas fire system. So this is the reason I, we want to uh, develop a one solution for gas fire and for this kind of the application, especially in China, there are many this kind of business. Everywhere gas fire, everywhere cooking, cooking, so need, they need this kind of the machine. So, so firstly, I want to, who is Kubi? The, the, the guy is me. Uh, here is our, another, uh, another engineer. He, tech, he responds for the PCB design. Uh, this, this guy responds to the mechanical design. Here he knew the software design. At that time, I, I get my PhD in the university and then live in the university for research. Uh, after several years, I found that the instrument for the case file is somewhat difficult. We just buy the GC by the online system. So I asked some guy whether or not they can do the, the gas sensor technology. In fact, I, I, don't, I don't know. I just know some, know some idea and just talking. So I asked the guy, he is, a, he is an engineer in our university. He is, at that time, he's a master degree student. They, they're all master degree students. At that time, I paid some money to them, whether or not we can organize a group to start the gas sensor technology and then work for different kind of application in China. So we set up the Kubik. Kubik means in China, I think well, not only China, I think in the world. Means the four, four, four side. Yeah, so this is the reason like for that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yes. <laughs> so now Kubik, uh, we set up the Kubik in 2003. At the, at, the, at the beginning, we just four people. Because Kubik, four people. And now uh, we were 140 people now. Yes, after seven, after seven years. Now our analyzer was uh, uh, exported to 39 countries. 